Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is a very traditional, typical milk carton, and I haven't made one in this shape and size for a long time. So this is two by two inches and two inches to that point, uh, five by five by five uh, centimeters. So I actually haven't made one with the perfect, you know, representation peak and everything for a long, long time. But as soon as I got the coffee break paper, I knew I had to have it. I just love it. It's gorgeous. It's me. And I love that we could die cut the paper on one of the coffee cups. I'm going to do that today. Um, I put it together with one of our new uh, clips. I can't remember what they're called. Are they binder clips? Then they're, they're not, are they? Um, but just so you can get in and out easily, you could put like you could put together a mini bag of coffee beans. You could put some sweets in there, some coffee flavoured chocolates, or nothing to do with coffee at all. But I like coffee. So let's make this box so this one's done in early espresso which is one of the colors in the pack soft suede is another um, and so is crumb cake dark is very difficult to show you guys on camera so i'm coming in with uh, crumb cake this time but i'm going to use the same designer series paper so this piece measures eight and a half by six inches which is 22 by 15 centimeters um, on the long side, we're going to score it every two inches, so two, four, six, and eight, which in metric is five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. And then on the short side, score it at two inches and four inches, which is five and ten centimeters. And then turn the paper over that way, so you're scoring on the other side at five and a half inches, which is thirteen. Blah, blah, blah can't speak 13 and a half centimeters and that's how we're going to get this nice little mark here come back to the top where we put that score line in let me get it the right way around so to that score line there <coughs> excuse me and score straight down at three inches and seven inches to that first line that we put across there that new one we've just put in on the wrong way around so in metric that's going to be seven and a half and I want to say 12 and a half. That can't be right. Yes, it is. Se no, 17 and a half. It's painful, isn't it? <laughs> so those lines, this straight line we've got here, marry that up to the bottom corner. So I'm going to put the lines in first to show you and then sort of talk it through. So that's the, the line we scored in that was the wrong, wrong way around and I've got a vertical line let me get the light where's the light come back oh too much light oh it's suddenly street sunny there's a vertical line there and I have joined it up to that part of the square so I've got this lovely triangle oh it had to be sunny now didn't it oh, <laughs> oh no I haven't got the other one <laughs> <laughs> done one. Let me do the other one. Oh look, the sun's gone in now. No, it's back out again. <sighs> I complain about the sunny weather, but only when I'm filming. Actually, I don't like to go and sit out in it. So there's my vertical line, and that's joined up to these score lines in a triangle. I hope you can see that. Right, let's burnish and fold these score lines. So yeah, the theory was that crumb cake you'd see better, but you know, British weather. Don't forget this one's going to go the wrong way or the opposite way. All my other school lines, get those in. And these triangular ones here, just get them started a little bit. You won't be able to fully do it. Uh, get them going, but hopefully you can see better now what I meant. Yeah, makes sense? Good. Okay, right. Let's do a little bit of snipping and then sticking. So just mitre that edge there and cut away this bottom thin rectangle and cut straight up those ones. I can't believe I haven't made a milk carpet in this shape for so long. I've done tall ones, short ones, fat ones, thin ones. I've done them with squatted tops and narrow tops, but I haven't made a traditional one in ages. Right, little bits of designer series paper. 
these measure one and three quarters by one and three quarters of an inch which is four and a half by four and a half centimeters so you get a nice little border going around oh shall i go for coffee beans Ooh, yes i'm gonna have the coffee bean side out that'll look fun let's just completely change what i was planning to do isn't the paper gorgeous though so much fun and i think even if you don't if you're not a coffee drinker you'll probably know somebody who is who'd appreciate it but there are some really lovely patterns in it one of the pages has got it's uh dark green with hearts on it how cute is that dark green and hearts perfect guy card or somebody who doesn't like pink and fluffy but i like the coffee beans they almost look like kisses <gasps> coffee bean kisses Right, and before I do the die cutting, I want to get my little bit of stamping going on because I want to stick that on. So that's my front part there because this seam is going to come round the back. Um, so that will be the front. And this little panel I've got is one and three quarters by one and one quarter of an inch, which is the perfect size to fit in there. And in uh, mm -hmm. centimetres, that's four and a half by three. So I've got the matching Coffee Cafe uh, stamp set. Is it Coffee Cafe or Cafe? Cafe? Cafe. I don't know. Or calf? No, it's not a calf. Life happens, coffee helps. Right, so here's the tip for you. This stamp would fit no problem on that block. It possibly, it would also fit on that block. However, I've got a small bit to stamp and when I look down on it, I can see distortion. It, it's the view I've got is distorted by these really lovely chunky thick sides that are curved but it's not easy to see so you need to go for a block that's considerably bigger than the piece of than the stamp you've got when you're stamping into a small area I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever I hope it did it sits in my head and I've learned that mistake the hard way but don't go for the block that is the smallest. I mean, don't go for a massive one. If you went for a massive one, you risk getting ink all around the edge of it and splodging it everywhere. But one that's just a bit bigger than you need and you will be able to see perfectly through it. Can you see that? So I, it's not distorted whatsoever. I, or my view of the stamp itself has not been distorted by the edges of the block those out of the way over there um, and I want to stick this on so I've got dimensionals we've got mini dimensionals haven't used them a great deal because I don't do an awful lot of mini work but just to give you the size comparison they are tiny proper tiny little things um, but yeah I haven't used them a huge amount I don't do super tiny work but they're going to be brilliant for shaker cards um, life happens coffee helps coffee always helps everything Okay, so fast fuse down here. It's not going to be coffee, wine probably would help. It's down there. So we determined that was the back. So fold two sides in and the back. If you've got something heavy going in there, stick down more than just this one tab. On there, pinch it closed. And because we put those beautiful triangles and that vertical line in, that's a really lovely close. The clips, what are they called? I don't remember what the hell is going to hurt my brain if I tell you. I'm looking at my catalogue. They are called library clips. Well, that's not a term I, I've ever heard as a Brit. I don't know what I would have called them. They look like mini clipboard clips um, on the top. So, yeah, library clips. That's why I didn't remember. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I forgot to get my, oh, I thought I had got my coffee framelits out. Oh, I forgot to get them out. Oh, no. There we go. Coffee cups framelit. So this is a sheet of the paper. And you see these two takeaway coffee cups. Well, look at this little chappy here. Fits round both of them. So on my first one, I went for the one with the hearts. I think I'm going to go for the same again just to get the contrast of colour. So I've got over here... And I know I'm going straight into the middle of a piece of designer series paper. I don't mind. It's worth it. Magnetic plate, plastic, sorry, magnetic platform, cutting plate, paper, die. 
Let me do this over by my big shot, which is not handy. It's just off camera. It doesn't want to play. The magnets, I need to give this a good shake. Let me get this in place so you can hear, you'll hear me cranking the wheel in a second. Or you'll hear the crack, actually, I think, of the plates. So, well, my hands, my, there we go, beating my colour caddy. So, that has popped out my little coffee cup. Seriously, it's the little things that make me so happy. <laughs> it really does. Isn't that cute? Love it. Corrugated elements. Now, these were part of, these are suggested things for it. And I'm a fan of Stampin' Up's designers know what they're doing. They really, really do. Um, so I've got the little heart. I've got some linen thread here. I had a kink in that part, so I'm just going to get rid of the kink. Let's put some fuse on here to stick down. So to make my little poodle loops, you just make loops so you're sticking the twine to the loops i only want three of them so i've got a little bit too much there snip that off um dimensionals again they're perfect for this and they also keep the ends down let's pop that up there and i have another dimensional or two on the back of the coffee cup Onto that. Life happens, coffee helps. How cute is that? <laughs> love it. Love the paper. Love the corrugated elements. Love the fact that I can die cut the, die the paper. Love the stamping, love it all. And these library clips. Happy, happy days. And I like it in the crumb cake. I love the early espresso. Like, love the, the crumb cake too. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and hope to speak to you soon.